Hi, and welcome to Hidden Agenda. Yes, another uh, super massive game. Um, I picked this up quite a while ago to take over friends and sort of try and play a game in an evening, which we did. Um, so I've only tried beating it the once and we didn't get the proper ending. Um, this is one of the unique games for the PlayStation 3, which uses PlayStation Link. So it actually uses your mobile phone to be able to play the game, which is quite novel. Yep, we've done all that. Okay, so running up the phone now this follows very much in the theme of the type of games that i'm currently playing oh what color red blue we go blue pre-ds control in hidden agenda touch the screen on your device to move the color pointer to the screen okay So, what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to go, new game. And we go, story mode. Starting a new game will overwrite, yes of course. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime, and play the story you want to see. <laughs> okay. Let's get this party rolling. Ready for this? Of course I'm ready. Nice and easy. Textbook color. What's your play? <laughs> Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Okay, I get that. So, uh, let's be cautious. It doesn't feel right. Let's scope it out. Mine. Stealth mode. 
Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. Okay. See if we can do this. Yeah. Let's keep witness. Keep going. Mouse traps. Hands up, hands up now. To shoot. Move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. No, we don't. Hands behind your head, no sudden moves. Yeah, you look nervous. Shoot. Don't shoot! Hey! Don't test my aim, fucker! I am not gonna hurt her! Please help me, please get me out of here. Okay, gonna go blue commanding. Hands up! I'm not gonna say it again! It's over. It's not worth it. It's over. Trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Finn is wanted in connection with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on this story as it develops. Ladies and gentlemen, the accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that, there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. These innocent people were targeted for no other reason than to play out Jonathan Finn's sick game. Jonathan Finn has confessed to every single one of these crimes. I ask that the court consider Jonathan Finn's voluntary confession of his crimes. He has spared the victim's families a prolonged trial and in doing so has demonstrated a glimmer of remorse. Therefore, it is my recommendation that Jonathan Finn be spared the death penalty and instead sentenced to life in prison with no possibility of parole. Thank you. Jonathan Finn. You have committed crimes of such a depraved nature that this court has no alternative but to sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Tap the logbook button on your app to read plot updates view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. I am Ray Weaver, and this is The Crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, The Trapper.
Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Look at Marnie for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. This gal's on top of the world, and guess what? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here in the mud. Mishandling evidence, improper conduct, who knows what else? Damn. Guess you never know who's one of the good ones. everyone caught another pair of John Doe's this weekend we're quickly racking up red names on this board and I gotta tell you unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct just put Marty the magician on the case I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear oh, son of a bitch detective Calvary I pretend you didn't just say that you're dismissed Hey, Becky. Ignore him. Calvary? Everyone knows he only reported you because you're the biggest target. Glad to know my accomplishments have earned me something. You doing okay? Time to decide, but before we do that... So... We are Becky. We arrested the trapper and was promoted into homicide. She was later accused of mishandling evidence at the scene. Um, the one that just gave us lip is Jack Cavery. He was the lead detective in Trapper Investigation. He recently accused Becky of mishandling evidence. And the gentleman we're speaking to is Tom Nelson. Tom was Becky's partner. He was promoted in homicide alongside and remained her partner. Okay, what ripple events? The arrest. Becky arrested Flynn and saved the hostage. Becky and her partner were promoted. Okay. That guy is a jerk, or not really. I'd be doing a lot better if Calvary would take a short walk off a tall building. Hey, just promise me you won't do anything. Don't give I anything to work with. At least while the inquiry is still open. Yeah, I quite like the... Well, yeah, we'll go restrained. Yeah, thanks. Just gotta keep telling myself that. Detective Marnie, can we have a word in my office? Look, Marnie... I'm not supposed to comment on an ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. You know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but you do. You got me? Yes, of course. I want to believe that, but I know the trap was set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. Knowing you sent someone to death row, I don't want you to be distracted. So who is he? He is Sergeant Riggs. Riggs was Becky's sergeant in... Okay, that's a lot of information. Um... Troubled. Finn's execution can't come soon enough. A whole lot of folks agree. I know I do. 
I'm gonna guess none of those folks are looking forward to a good night's sleep as much as I am. Hmm? The fact that he's still breathing keeps me up at night. Got your message. I'm heading to see your client now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Uh, be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Okay, so now we're the lawyer, so... Felicity Graves uh, was at the prosecuting attorney in the Trapper Serials trial, recommended that Jonathan Flynn be sentenced to life imprisonment. Jonathan Flynn, he was convicted of the Trapper murders, sentenced to death. And Lena Pitte. Okay, and that's basically the girlfriend. Um, cynical. If he's actually got something to say, then I'm ready to hear it. I'll call you after. Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon. Hello. Your attorney says you have something you want to tell me. Sure, but you ain't gonna believe me. No one does. I used to blame God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. If I gotta go out, I ain't going out a liar. Then tell me the truth. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Um, let's go impatient. Listen to me. I don't like you. I believe in my duty, and that is to listen to what you have to say, but that window is closing fast. So speak up. It was Adam. Adam? Adam was my best friend at the orphanage, and he killed those people. Let's go with curious. I'm listening but you have to give me more to go on. Adam and I, well, we've seen some shit together. Makes you close. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. So we made an arrangement. I rat myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. Fox in a hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. The playroom. Well, that's what he called it, but I think he was the only one who was having any fun in there. Cops never found it? No. Well, you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now? <laughs> no idea. How can we find him? Gotta start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not, uh... It's better if I draw you a map. Okay, let's try and be relaxed about this. Make sure get your pen back. Let's do nothing. Code six, code six. Hey, hey, settle down. Hey, take it easy. Settle, 
settle down. How'd it go? How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time as my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for good. Lana, your client just tried to assault me, okay? He's dangerous. If you're looking to get him out of here, it's not gonna happen, ever. Jesus, I'm sorry. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah. Look, that's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. Adam Jones is reasonable doubt, Felicity. I never wanted the death sentence, but I just don't think this is enough to stop it from happening. Finn is not a good man, but he is not the trapper. And if he dies, the trapper is still out there. Interesting. So Adam Jones. So, well, this profile thing's getting filled out. Just like we've now got Father Rominski added to the list. Uh, let, let's be supportive. Yeah. You're right. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Thank you so much for seeing me so quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. Sir? Are you buying his story? Skeptical. I have doubts, but we do have a record of an Adam Jones at the orphanage, same time as Finn. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? <laughs> well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Um, let's be optimistic. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. Apparently, you need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just long enough to lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Um... I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. I see. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release into police custody, but only for three hours, no more. Thank you. Hey, Lana, you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it? Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. <laughs> nice work, Flissy. Don't call me that. Um, I'm gonna head over to Homicide and let him know. Good call. And Felicity, thank you. Don't thank me yet. 